So new noob, I heard you went to Alabama. Take me home, country road, to the place where I shit myself. So you went to see the Alabama Slammer. I got slammed. Uh, not in Alabama, in uh, in Tennessee, Nashville, where the the Titans play. I'm confused because yep. I was all I thought this was about Alabama oh racism. <laughs> no, no, we're not doing it. Oh. I mean, Alabama is clearly racist. It's confused. Alabama. Confused. So you want to talk about Tennessee I racism? I do. I do love landlocked state yep. of Tennessee. 14. Look at that flag. 14 hour drive from where we are. Well, it's not. I, I don't think it's that long. It was that long. I did it. it. Took you that long. By myself. Did you drive like an old lady? I know. Well, no, Virginia's a dick with their speeding thing. So you got to like follow that shit uh -huh. or they ticket you. you they like even have flag? aerial drones. They have and aerial dr drones you got that drone will bomb? give you speeding tickets. Speeding ticket what kind drones? of shit is that? So Virginia is not Virginia, a good place man. to go. Yeah, no. It doesn't look, you said 14 hours. It would take you like 17 hours to go to Florida. Why did it take you so long to get to Tennessee? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. There was traffic. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The one thing I remember about driving through Tennessee is that their highways were garbage. Uh, that there were like busted tires everywhere. Nope. They were just normal highways. Mm, you sure about that? From what I remember mm. last week. Yeah, it was normal highways. A lot of cows, a lot of farmland, mm -hmm. black cows. Coincidentally enough, not a lot of colored, like not a lot of spotted. What cows. kind of cows? What? What kind of the cows? black ones? The the milk cows. Yeah, yeah not the not, not the, the beef people, cows. not like fat black people. Um, what? Just bl no, like black cows. I don't know why that's a Their thing. Their beef cows are the brown ones. Are you serious? There's a difference. Yes. You're kidding. Between the spotted white cows. And the brown cows? Yes. Bullshit. <laughs> really? You want me to Google Are you serious? This? You, you didn't know that? Are you, no, you're kidding. Okay. Brown cows don't produce milk? They do not. They don't make chocolate milk. No, I don't. I know they cows. don't make chocolate milk. I'm not stupid. Brown cows. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty stupid. Brown cows are for... Sale? Meat. Constipation? Is that the second thing that came up? We often think of brown and black cattle as beef cattle and the black and white spotted cows what? as dairy cows. See, they're different breeds. Holstein cows are known for producing high... Uh, high uh, My mind is blown right now. You so didn't, really? All, you didn't know that? All those cows are going to be brutally murdered for fucking hamburger soon? Oh, of course. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're, you know, beef cows. That's not cool. You didn't know that? I didn't. What's the difference between moo cows? I look dairy cow. Yeah, no, a lot beef of the, I saw a lot of the brown ones. Well, I think you said a lot of there. black ones. Well, they're black, brown, same thing. No, they were, no, they're clearly different. They were multicolored. Is the point? Okay, they were. They were singularly colored. Interesting cows. Apparently Interesting. not for milking. Not for not for maids of milk. Wow. Well, that's uh, that, well that that's that's story one, I guess. I didn't realize that brown cows and white cows are different. So you reviewed the cows, and your verdict is ten uh, out of 10, ten on the cows. I like that there's a lot of cows. I don't like that they're gonna be murdered soon. <laughs> I do like that it's like an Oreo sandwich. I don't like it, then I do like it. Or no, I I don't like it. I I do like it, then I don't like it. Then I I do you like, like the how milk they taste. Cows. You're a fan. I like how they taste. Oh, okay. Yeah. You just don't want to see them become a taste. No, that's sad if I think about it. Okay. So so you wanted to tell us about your adventures in Tennessee for some reason. I don't know. We need videos, man. YouTube is, is making us do longer videos for watch time. And we appreciate you if you like and subscribe. That'd be dope. Um, but Especially yeah, if you're from Tennessee or Alabama. We like you even Either better. one of those are fine peoples. Uh, sort of. But so I went to Tennessee for a wedding in Nashville and um, there, there was two stories that I think stood out a little bit. And I just want to briefly go over them. Not, nothing too special, but nothing the one special. I went for a wedding and it was super nice wedding. Oh, that was the third part. It's like a it's a it's a combination. Oh, so combo story. if anyone follows baseball, the wedding venue was a baseball player's house. Ben Zobrist from the, the Cubs. Oh. He's like an average. He's like an average player. Well, I, 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 wait, he rented out his house? To yeah, Ben Zobrist. Type, type in Ben why, Zobrist. Why did he rent out his house? 
Zover. There we go. He's Ben's a second over. baseman. Yeah, Ben's yeah. over. I don't know if he's currently with the Cubs. Yeah, I guess he's with the Cubs now. He's decent. Like, he's not an all-star player. Like, he's decent. So, he apparently Great owns guy. a bunch of homes, and uh, he rents this one in particular for... Uh, for uh, selling for weddings, for yeah. Wedding. Type okay. in Ben Zobra's Tennessee home. You'll probably see where I where I was. You're lo- why are you looking at his wife? <laughs> <laughs> Just cuz. Okay. Cuz. It's a weird thing to look he up. He claims his wife had an affair. He's talking his- about his fucking house, not his wife. <laughs> I assumed his wife was there. So okay. Uh-huh. And anyway, it was a it was a beautiful house location in Franklin. Beautiful wife. In Franklin County. Uh, in Tennessee, overlooking like valleys. It, it looked like Napa Valley, but in Tennessee, it was great. Uh huh. So the wedding is uh, has a, has a Catholic priest, I think, come out. You think? I think he was Catholic. He okay. was a priest for sure. Did I could see the erection when to, he eyed I was going to say when he eyed, eyed the flower you girl or the flower boy. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, oh, by the way, the wedding. If, if none of these people are ever going to listen, but Christy and Gareth, your wedding was awesome. This man has a fucking southern South American accent. He was like Elon Musk on crack. I love that man. I would have married him myself. Oh, Elon that was the, that was the third story. I'm losing track here. Let's let's reverse. So the rehearsal dinner. This man Ben Zobris wasn't there. This he was not. This man has ten different people come up and give toasts. Why? Sounds Basically, like just a every, and it was it was not like your normal wedding toast or your wedding speech. At a, wait, at a rehearsal dinner. That why that's not appropriate. And it was fantastic because why? each one of these stories basically talked about how Gareth walked on water. This man is the greatest human being I've so ever he's a serial ever lived. Every one of these people were like, "I would die for this man." Every everything he does is amazing. I Did was like, "I, I want to, I want to marry him." No, he didn't. He's just like a cool South African Did he, dude. He's clearly a serial killer. He's got a great accent. Um, so that that's story one. Story two. Hey, you heard a bunch of inappropriate toasts about a serial killer. No, he seemed like a great dude. I I could not. He, yeah, he's a little too good to be true. Let's be honest. That's Do almost, I think a little suspicious. A little yeah, suspicious. Yes. But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Zero I would marry him based on these interactions. I would marry him. So let's go to the wedding. So then there's a Catholic or there's some sort of priest giving a toast, and he's getting real awkward. So he's talking about religion and love, and he makes a comment. He's like about a man and a woman. I'm like, oh shit, here we go. It's only about men and women here. But then he goes into types of love. I don't know why he's going into this, but he goes into types of love. And there's like a bunch of different words for love. Eros, uh, philia, which is family. There's another one. And then he's like, there's a fourth one. And then he says it's called Corgi, like the fucking dog. And I'm like, did this man just say dog is love? It's not. He's wrong. If you look this up. Um, it's he's actually, mistaken. Yeah, no, the, the priest is an idiot, essentially. Maybe it's Corgi Love. Corgi Love. And I was like, is this man talking about dogs? And he's not. Uh, it's actually called Storgi, I think is what it is. Stor- like All these Greek words he doesn't know? Sto- yeah, no, he, he was just like spouting shit. Yes, he's Storgi. Storgi, okay. Yeah, it's all Greek words. So. Yeah, and he was calling it Corgi. So I'm like, this man is stupid in all languages. And in any case, What's he's an referencing... Of Storgi Love? Yeah, I don't know what cherishing kind of, one's relatives, yeah, especially was, parents or children. Yeah, he went into like lots how, about all the of children. these different kinds of love, or is what build a marriage. I'm like, all right, you're clearly stupid. So, Storgi and Philia love something. Yeah, well, that's the different. That's the that's the family love. So they're both like kind of family love. Philia love tends to be uh, for younger children. Oh shit! Un, it's a, asymmetrical love. Oh shit! That's I didn't know that one. There that's, are seven types of love. That's the that's the priest love. For four, <laughs> so you're getting very concerned here. Oh boy. So anyway, Storge, Philia, Eros, and Agape. Yep, that's the ones he said in the in the wedding speech. But Corgi, and then and then Corgi incorrectly. So I was just confused as to why he went like deep in the paint on this. And then he was talking about rabbis. He basically brought every fucking religion known to man up in this wedding ceremony. Uh huh. I don't know why. None of these two people are super religious. Their parents are. That's fine. But like, you know, cut that shit short. That's fine. Anyway, so that that story, too. I thought that was a little weird because you're ruining the ceremony. This nice view and this lovely couple. Of story, a serial killer. Story three is where it gets a little juicy because there is a chicken place called Hattie Bees. <laughs> okay. Apparently known in Nashville for good hot Nashville chicken. Never had Nash- hot Nashville chicken. I only bought the Frank's Hattie hot Bees. sauce that's called Nashville hot. And that was like pussy shit. 
So we go there after uh, the actual. No, no, this was after the rehearsal dinner. So you ate dinner twice. Yeah, it was like apps and shit. What? Wait, Wait they I'll, didn't go give you a real dinner for. for no, no, the no it was good. I, I got a little. I got a little snack. Got that's a little snack. not. That's okay. So he had. Ta- he invited all these people to give him speeches and then cheaped out on it. No, this. You this sure was, this was a Catholic this was wedding? A, this was a good. No, no, it wasn't a Catholic wedding. This was just. But a, they had a, You can't get a Catholic priest without a Catholic. So wedding. maybe it was a Christian priest. I don't know. Okay. Some religious you priest. You missed what I was. Yeah. I get. Joke. I get what you're saying. You missed the joke. I get it. Um. So we went to Hattie B's for a little snacky, and I'm like, you know what, Nashville hot chicken. I'm gonna try the hottest. I don't know if it has it on here. The hottest flavor. There Heat we go. Levels. Shut the cluck up. So they're like, and you're so you are a, a uh, connoisseur of heat of the heat. Yes. Yeah, I you, did you the, have, the hot chip challenge. You didn't survive. The, the you gummy barely bear. survived hot chip, and you really no, no, no. didn't survive gummy bear. The hot chip bear. wasn't that bad. The gummy bear was pure fire. But you you did not survive. And I, I wish I could you know. Didn't even eat it. I wish I could. I ate it fully. You I did wish not. I could. We know have video what, footage of it. What this um, Scoville level was because it doesn't really say. It just says it's really hot. So I'm like, all right, let's give it a shot. It can't be that bad. So I get like a little side, like a little chicken strip, like not a full sandwich and not anything else. And I'm like, you know what? Let's take a couple bites. And it's got a pickle on it, fucking drenched in the sauce. Like <laughs> the it's pickle? coated. The pickle is coated in the sauce. The so pickle like, is coated I in eat the sauce. The so- I eat the pickle. Mistake one. Just the pickle. Just the pickle first. And I'm like, <laughs> let's get a nibble. I'm like, oh, this is sweet. This is good. And then the fire starts. And I'm sweating. And I'm like, you know what? Let's take a couple bites. Let's see if the chicken helps calm it down a little bit because there's breading and everything like uh-huh. that. So I take two big bites of Boneless this little chicken. Little, chicken tendies. Yeah, yeah, it's a little chicken tendy sandwich. So then I fucking start crying. <laughs> it's fucking dripping down my nose, dripping down my eyes. Now, again, it was and you it, got shut the cluck up. It, I did get shut the cluck up. Now, would I compare it in, in comparison to the hot chip challenge? It's probably not as bad. It just not as a, bad as the hot chip I challenge. guess for whatever reason, it had a more lingering effect. I, I'm not sure why. Maybe because it was on bread. Like the pick, I'm not sure. Lingered on the teeth. Well, I mean, on a chip, it, it was. it's just like... You eat it and it's gone. Yeah. And I it's guess chip, chicken and a bread. When you can, yeah, but when it's in liquid in a hot sauce form, it yeah. coats more. Yeah, it, it, it lingered. And that's that's what got me going because it just kept, it kept burning for a while. And I kept eating more of it, which wasn't smart. The chip is like you take a bite and you're done. So eventually... It uh, th- then we had an Asian friend there as well, and I'm like, oh, try it. He he takes a bite immediately, fucking forehead sweat. He's dying. I'm I'm recovered. I'm fine. And I thought the night was, was over. Ben Zobris there. He was not. Damn it. So I'm like, I, I made it through. It's good. Wake up next morning. We go to this famous pancake place called Pancake Pantry. Did they have a shut the clock up? They don't. <laughs> so they had you like just a, made it through the night, and you're like, had, this is fine. Well, hold on. Oh, okay. Then they had like banana bread pancakes. So I'm like, this sounds awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm taking some bites, taking some bites midway through. Some happens. <laughs> the banana and bread gotcha. I'm like, you know, bananas are very starchy. The stomach's feeling a little weird. I haven't gone to the bathroom yet. I'm like, that's fine. It's normal. It's in the morning. Had some coffee. We're, we're good. Let's go to the bathroom and, uh, you know, at the place. Let's, yeah. At pancake pantry. At there's pizza. one, there's one stall, by the way. So you annihilated one stall pancake. Pantry. So as soon as I sit down, were there, was there a door on the stall? Is, there was okay. not a lot of toilet paper. I feel bad for whoever came <laughs> after me because there was none left, <laughs> but chafed and bloody asshole remains of me <laughs> because as Did soon as I sat out the down, entire... as soon as I sat down, it was like Mount St. Helens <laughs> erupting <laughs> out of my cheeks. And it was it was weird if I clenched it didn't burn but as soon as I relaxed it was like someone lit a match literally inside my anus and I didn't know what was ha- I didn't know how to stop it. I don't remember that happening for the hot chip. Like I just don't no, I, it would have happened for the gummy bear but you didn't eat oh, it. Oh, oh, you had that you had that reaction? It was not comfortable. Yeah. Let's put it that way. And I I didn't know when it was going to end. My stomach did not feel good. For like two days. Yeah, the sa- same. I was like, I was the morning, so I recovered quicker than the two days. But it probably wasn't as hot as the gummy bear. Uh, no, 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 it was not, not remotely. So I, I, you know, I do my business. I go back. I'm like, all right, pancakes are good. Finish the pancakes. <laughs> You're still able to finish the pancakes. Round two happens, and I'm like, please, <laughs> yeah, please not here. They, not they here. Replace I don't the want paper. this here. Did you finally live like Joe Rogan told you to? I didn't shit myself. It got it got close. So you're still not a man. It got close because then that was round two. <laughs> was the, did they replace the fire. toilet paper? Did you tell them to replace nope. the toilet paper? I just I left. Was in there any? Uh, there was a little bit. 
There was a little just bit. enough to survive. Just enough to get a little squirt in. Oh, God. So then that was round two. We leave Pancake Pantry. We're doing a so tour. So your boxers were intact. They are. They're doing a, well, I'm doing a tour of Vanderbilt, uh, which is where my girlfriend went to school. And I buy a hundred and fifty dollar outfit of Vanderbilt. I don't know why it was. It looked cool. I liked the color scheme. What? It was awesome. What did you buy? Yeah, Vanderbilt. Yeah, you never heard of Vanderbilt? No, it sounds like a clown. Coach. Really? It's apparently the Harvard of the South, is what they call it. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So, dude, it only costs twenty two thousand dollars. Oh, it does not there. cost twenty two thousand dollars. Says it right there. Are you questioning what Google says? I looked it up. It was like sixty grand a year or some shit. We'll have to do further. I looked I'm this up. I'm looking at the thing I, right I here. I looked it up when Average I was... Average cost after aid, at least. Oh, after... No shit, after aid. But the full price is like 60 grand. In any case. So we're walking around, and I went to the Barnes & Noble's store of Vanderbilt, bought a whole outfit. Looks cool as shit. What? There's no way. Looks dope. Okay, hold on. Uh, it's a, an outfit from Vanderbilt. They, it's like yeah, their you, clothes, like Vanderbilt clothes. Yeah. So you bought clothes to a a school you didn't go to. I could have. I could have got in. If I you wanted didn't to. go. Uh huh. Is 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 Temple the Harvard of the of the? No, North? Temple is the Temple. <laughs> you went to Temple. Temple's the non-Jewish te- version of a Temple. No, it's it is. Hmm. Is it Jewish? You sure. Oh, okay. Anyway, so I, we buy that. We're walking what, around. The, these socks. Is that what you got? I did Some not buy the Vanderbilt socks. socks. I like How the color scheme, black and gold. It's cool. It, it's cool. It's it's not. I like it. I'm I got, so I got, where's this outfit? I got the hat. I don't know. It's probably not going to be on the fucking internet. What? Okay, so you can't can buy the outfit we on the internet. We can take a picture. I can I can show you. You can use your stolen valor. Yeah. Like this this outfit right here. That's what you Vandy. Exactly. Oh Anything that could be called Vandy that rhymes with candy. No, and has a girl. they have a slogan as Vandy boys. Oh boy! Yeah, it's get it's, it's real rapey. So are you? You're a Vandy boy now. I'm a Vandy boy. But How about so, a half shirt? Did you buy a half shirt? Oh my god, I should have. But uh, so I'm walking back from Vanderbilt, and then that's when it's you spent 150 dollars at yeah, Vanderbilt yeah. It's, for it's, an outfit. It's crowning. You literally could have gotten a four dollar hoodie online. No. <laughs> and you spent 150 dollars. Yeah, I got wow. the the basketball shorts. I got the the, the Nike dry fit shirt. But you didn't go hat. there. And a hat. Yeah, I did. In no, you didn't go to In Vanderbilt. Spirit. Yeah, I did. You, you did not. Anyway. Stolen so, Valor. Uh, I'm walking back and I'm full on crowning. That, that's the, they the trifecta. They don't have bathrooms at Vanderbilt. Apparently. No, they don't because it's summer. Uh-huh. So I make it back and I blast out the make Airbnb. It back to where? The Airbnb. Oh, the, so you destroyed some poor person's I destroyed Airbnb. a lot of things. And uh, that that's my stories. That's it. Yeah. That, that's all? You just destroyed an Airbnb? I did. So that's we aired it out. There was a there was a window right by the the toilet. The, the, the honestly, the Airbnb hosts were the nicest people ever. They gave us late checkout. They ho- held our luggage. They probably and we, and you destroyed their bathroom. I did. I hope these people know that now that this fake Vanderbilt no human being, if you're even that, no, I I could have got in. It it's harder than St. Joe's. It, it, do you really think that a Vanderbilt is uh? I have no words for how stupid <laughs> are you jealous, you are. bro? Jealous of you don't want to be a Vandy the, boy, a Vandy boy. You don't want to be a Vandy no, boy. No, don't want to be a Vandy boy. Don't need because you can't be a Vandy boy, bro. Uh huh. Yeah, look at their acceptance rate. It's low. Type in type in Vanderbilt ex- acceptance, and then type in St. Joe's. T- typical scores of I don't need. They changed all the SATs. Okay, but type in acceptance rate. Can I get into... There is no required GPA. Congratulations. You can get in with a 0.0 0 GPA. Every college... No college has a, a GPA requirement. No, it's not an Ivy League school, so... Neither St. Joe's. Ne- Dude, you, you went to Temple, bro. I did. And you're trying to pretend you went to Vanderbilt. I got a 4.0, bro. What did you get? Did you graduate with a 4.0? I don't think so. I accelerated my graduation. Yeah, I accelerated my 4 point onus. Why is Vanderbilt so prestigious? Because it's Vandy Boys. It's, it's top ranked in financial aid. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, it's li- good for... Uh, I like aid. It likes to put in the diversity. Oh my God, it's, they fucking love diversity of there. Of course. Holy How do you shit. think your girlfriend got in? Yeah, if, if you're and white... And you got in If there. you're white, they're like, no thanks, bro. 
No thanks. If you're rich and white, then like, well, hold on now. Well, hold on. We the, have you things pay for that other you people? could donate to. Exactly. Um, but yeah, no, good trip. And uh, except my anus exploded. Why? So at what point are you going to take her to temple? To the temple? Yeah, she's going to be uh, a, a temple hoe. There I'm going to be go. a bandy boy. She'll be a te- tempy hoe. She better spend $150. She is. Dress like an owl. She's gonna spend two hundred. She's gonna get a full blown owl outfit. I can't wait. An owl fairy. Very excited. Yeah. This is all very. That's it. That's all I got. (laughs) What did you learn about Vanderbilt? Nothing. It's got cool colors, and now I have an outfit. And it's full of diversity. And I'm a Vandy boy. A dandy Vandy. Well, I I have nothing else to say after that rambling twenty minute story, but. I do appreciate all of the effort that you put into it. So let us know in the comments below. Are you a Vandy boy? <laughs> Would you like to be a Vandy boy? Would you Does like that Noob Noob like? to take you to Vandy to give you a tour? Oh, I could just look up the cost right here. Or where I blew out the bathroom. Average cost is 22 th- well, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Look at that. $80,000. Because they give out so much aid. So it doesn't they really give out cost. So much AIDS. It's a discount. They give out AIDS. It's they like to give discounts, so it's a discount school. So does every school. No, I don't know about that. A lot. Of you schools. know that Harvard does not offer any financial aid, right? Really? Yeah. Please, so, I could have gotten to Harvard. Harvard of the South. <laughs> I could have gotten to Harvard. Well, why not MIT? Why are at it? MIT, I think, is better than Harvard. Why didn't you get into it? Could have. So anyway, let us know in the comments below what's the best college in Didn't the world. Didn't want to deal with the Boston Homeschooling, winners. probably the best yeah. is for us right Home now. Homeschooling. Because I don't think you learn anything in college anymore. Uh, you probably could have used your degree for more toilet paper. I have a master's in gender diversity. Of course you do. Yeah. And equity. Gender echo shit. Okay. So Let's anyway, end this. Uh, we'd appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to hear more about these d- things that we talk about. You didn't even give it a rating. Uh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 from Vanderbilt, 10. 10 out of 10. I'm a Vandy boy for life. We love all y'all. Uh, we have a full length audio podcast, which you can c- uh, catch on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places and more. We're also rumbling in the jungle on Rumble, ORKU, and uh, live streaming here on YouTube, our home station, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. Friday Night Lights, hanging out. We love all y'all, but we are on to the next one. Ah.